the darkness of the devil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for March the 30th, 2020, according to St. John. Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid because I know where I have come from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from nor where I am going. You judge by human standards. But I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid. For it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who send me. In your law it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. Then they said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. He spoke these words while he was teaching in the treasury of the temple. But no one arrested him, because his hour had not yet come. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. You can talk about light. But be darkness. Then you would be slandering, you would be fooling someone or trying to. And you would be using your sentiments and reasoning, a lot of reasoning, to justify your words. Reasoning that would seem to be practical. And that is very sad. Because what we cannot accept what we cannot comprehend. We like to think and think and think until we find a way we, where we might justify. But God is unjustifiable in human terms. He is way above our reason. He's meta-rational. He's way above our sentiments. But He is true. But it's easy to find out whether you are in the true church or not. For example, if you are an alcoholic, or a homosexual, or a pedophile, and you have struggled not to be, but you cannot stop, if you are addicted to pornography, if you are addicted to a substance, and you don't want to be. I know many that go to Mass, I mean Roman, Roman Catholic Mass, every day. Seemingly they receive Holy Communion every day. And they keep on doing the very same thing over and over for years and years. What happens, and it has happened in the past, in, true, in real life, when somebody hires, hires actors, they pay a church, and they make believe that they are having a wedding. There might be an unsuspecting, unsuspecting woman that believes that she was married. But when the charade is blown up and somebody says, well, it was only actors, what happened there? Will God bless the wedding anyway? Of course not, because they were just actors. But they were inside a church. They even had somebody that was bested, but they were actors. You see, the sacraments need a channel of faith and of holiness that is previous to the consecration, to the ordination of a priest. If that, if that, if that is not there, that is not happening. But then, when that happens, this is above a reason 
This is about above our comprehension. Then God himself is acting through there. And that is why the Pharisees then and the Pharisees today like to present themselves beautifully clothed with these incredible huge churches or mega churches with the Protestant brothers. But they do not do anything according to God. They work for themselves. They make money, which is what, what's interesting for them. That's what they are after for. If you are experiencing that, know that you are not in the true church. Look for an Orthodox church. You most likely will find a place like a hospital where immediately would you will start feeling inside, knowing and seeing in reality how your life is being changed. I know that there are some extraordinary few people like within the Christians or the Roman Catholics that start behaving differently out of their own determination. But deep inside they're still struggling. And it doesn't mean that we are not struggling as Orthodox. We do. What we feel and we see the hand of God acting against our enemies, the devils. And we see how He, God, is giving us his fruits in our lives to share with everyone else. It's interesting and you have to look for it if you really want to be saved. For blessed is our God always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.